Hi everyone. We have some chores today. I'm standing in the shade for a couple minutes. It's hot outside and the baby's sleeping for I think what's gonna be a short period of time actually. Sometimes in gardening we have chores. So one of the chores we're gonna do today is we are going to spread uh, compost mulch on all of these beds, this one and the one. So we're gonna work on that. The only tools you need today are a razor blade to open the bags. You could tear them open, um, but I don't like doing that. Um, and then gloves and this really cool rake. I got it off Amazon, let me show you what it does. So this is what it looks like. It has this lever right here. And when you extend it out, it makes it either wider so if you're raking a wider area or a smaller area. Now we're gonna use this one today cause we're gonna navigate around some bulbs and I don't want it out like this so that it's kind of catching a bunch of things around us. So we're gonna put it in just like that. I'll put the link to Amazon and it extends out and it'll work for what we have to do. Okay, let's get started. bags doesn't cover this whole bed but that's perfectly fine so the idea here is if you're doing maintenance let's say you want to keep adding to the richness of your soil keep adding compost the trains over there so we got a little bit of nutrients to each plant so we've got the lamb's ear the lavender and the peonies here is the um trying to think about it Hosta. I don't know why that took me so long. This is the hosta we broke up the other day. Our lilacs, our phlox, our tulips, our shasta daisies, and everybody got a little bit. I'm gonna put some water on here. You just wanna give them, think of this as water. We're giving them a little drink of nutrients. We're adding a little to the bed every time. So this is our first dose since we started these beds last year. And there is um, biotone in here and things like that, but um, no fertilizer so far. So let's get started on the next bed. I spread the compost as far as I could get it. And these have drip lines, as you can see, but when we're adding new things, this is a two-year-old bed. This is the second season. Um, when I add things, I want to water right away, and I don't necessarily want to stand there and water. So we added a sprinkler, a temporary one, as we're letting this bed mature. It'll still get drip line water, but this is to supplement. Joe's was, Joe was nice enough to run it all the way around the back of the house so we didn't have it up here like we did the previous year. Um, but yeah, the, these beds are so new that they need extra water all the time. If it's overly hot or um, if they're just not getting enough water. So anyway, we turn these on. When the other side is on, 
the pressure for our area won't go so high. So normally it would stream out all the way to the end of the bed, but because I have both of them on, it's not gonna do that until I turn one off. Um, I'm gonna install our hose link that we bought here soon. Got little compost all over that. That rake works perfect if you're looking for something in tight areas, especially like back there, where um, right here. I have all those growing and they're super tight. There's no way for me to rake things in it. In fact, I got to the point where I was actually um, tossing fertilizer into it. I'll turn off the other bed in a minute and this will come, this sprinkler head will come full force. But do you see all those tightly congested flowers? Eventually we will have more shade for this area. I was really hoping those trees would provide some shade, but they don't. And actually this dappled willow, we're gonna take out of there because it got so big. There's actually two. So the smaller one I'll leave for a little while. This bigger one I'm gonna put in another area. So with that, I just want you guys to know that some chores are not fun to do. Adding compost is really easy. You just dump the bag, rake it out, water. Ideally do this in the mornings or evenings when it's much cooler, but you can really do it anytime. I just did it when Baby Jet was sleeping. So these bulbs, see those bulbs? We're gonna let those sit there until they die. That way they can absorb the sun's rays to promote nutrients in the bulbs under the ground. And then when they come up next year, they're gonna look even better. So. All right, guys, thank you for coming along. I do have some seedlings we're gonna pop up. Um, I'll probably do those this evening, maybe when Joe is down for a second nap. Um, I'll probably add this to another video. So catch it in the next video. Thank you so much as usual. Please subscribe if you get a chance. We're really trying to get our subscriptions up and share the video if you liked it. Thanks so much, have a great day.